and today I have a Bow Candy box. Thank you, Bow Candy, for my wonderful review package. This is a subscription box filled with yummy candies and treats from around the world. Um, I have peeked in here, but I have not gone digging. Um, it does not have any packing material in it, which I did notice which means that the box is completely full. Again, this is from Bow Candy. This is, the, this is the way the box comes. Just like this. Underneath this piece of paper is my address, but I wanted to tape over my address. If you go here, if you see here, it actually says Bow Candy on it. So, and it has the bumper sticker on the back of the box. So there's no question that this was actually a Bow Candy box. So. I'm going to try not to dump the candy all over the place, but this is typically, it got a little disheveled because my, uh, <laughs> my niece grabbed a hold of it. So it was packed a lot nicer than this, but this is about what it looks like. It's got, as I said, it has no packing material in it. There's no pack list either. This takes up about half the box and then there's some other little bits and pieces around here. So the best thing that I can do is a lot of these are in uh, foreign languages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sample everything and I'm going to show you what everything is just because I'm not 100% sure and I've only tried one thing in this box and there's a million of them in here. So with that being said, I'm going to just kind of grab something. This is called Chorus Whistle Candy. I don't know what that is. It says grape flavored candy. So I'm going to grab my trusty scissors here. I want to show you the little animation on the back before I open it. And that's a nice little, you know, trying. I mean, a nice little size candy. They look like sweet, like a sweet tart type thing. They're really big. So that's what it looks like. Oh my gosh. That's really good. I think it's from the same makers of Haichu because it's kind of got that grape Haichu flavor to it. But that's those. I'm not going to even try to announce, pronounce the names. Now this is a familiar treat. This is a croissant with cocoa filling from seven days. Let's see where you're from. Doesn't say. It looks like it's German perhaps, but that's what it looks like. Oh man, that smells good. Okay, so this is what the croissant looks like. You break it open, and it's got a creamy filling. More creamy filling. Mmm. That's really good. I'm going to put the other half over there because that's definitely a, something I'm going to eat later. Okay, this is Gorilaki Choza Kowan Edika Nimitawana Smak Po Brzegi. It looks like chocolate covered strawberry filled wafers. So we're going to try this. It's nice and thick. broke broken but you can expect that in this type of box that this type of thing is going to be broken because it's coming from all over the place how thick that is it's basically a wafer one two three four wafer stack the outside is chocolate the cream inside is strawberry. Mm. That's another one I'm going to set aside and eat later because that's really good. Mm. 
So the next few items that I have in here, there are actually multiples of each item. Sorry, I didn't want to spit stuff all over you. So the next items, as I said, there are multiples of each of these items. The first one, it is a Kex Chocolade Colati. Comes with a whole handful of them. Oh, hey, these are UT certified. UT certified cocoa. So this is a whole stack of them. That's what the packaging looks like. Just a small, it feels like a wafer and it looks like a wafer. So we'll see what this is when I open it. Mm -mm. I don't like this one. It's got chocolate on the outside, wafer, and then that stuff on there is peanut butter. Uh-uh. No. Those are going in the garbage. Actually, I'll save them for my boyfriend. He may like them. He likes peanut butter. But not my cup of tea. So the next things that are in here, there's just kind of a handful of them. These are Parja Tradenta Jardosa Toffee Kubakon Vagubaba. I don't even know how to pronounce this one, so I'm just going to show it to you. They gave me a whole handful. This is what they look like on the outside. And this is what it is. That's rice paper that's around it. At least I'm hoping it's rice paper. It kind of looks like a chocolate or a caramel covered in this thin. I'm going to take it off so I can show you what it is. This thin paper, but it's not rice paper. I thought it was rice paper. So I'm glad I took it off. But there, it was stuck to it, as you can see. It's like a chewy, it's softer than, than a caramel. And it's chocolate flavored. Not good chocolate flavored, but it's chocolate flavored. That went into the vat of no return. So, that was not good. I've got a bunch of little guys here. I've already tried these and I really like them. They're just little tiny candies. I'm not going to try to pronounce the name. But well, there's a whole bunch of them, different flavors. I'll go ahead and open one here. That's what the candy looks like. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 17 of them. They're a little tiny. That's what the wrapper looks like. That was a cranberry one. The one I ate earlier was a lemon and an apple. But as you can see, Bow Candy has a very wide variety of different kinds of little treats and candies from around the world. If you would like to learn more about Bow Candy and perhaps subscribe to your own box, check out www.bocandy.com and perhaps check them out and tell them that Misty sent you. If you want to see more food reviews, subscription reviews, and un subscription box reviews, and unboxings, give me a thumbs up on this video. My mouth's watering. Subscribe to my YouTube page down there. Leave me a comment down below. Um, visit me at MysteriousRamblings.com and y'all be sure to check out the Bow Candy Treats and Sweets subscription box. And until next time, guys, peace.